trash truck. We don't want to pull out in front of the trash truck, do we? I know. Pretty. Oh, sucks getting old. Okay, so we are now taking Bridgie to the vet. She's not had a good weekend. Just like you can see now, she's I think she's nauseous. She's not eating. She didn't eat good yesterday. Of course, everything happens on a day that the vet's not open, but she did okay, but she wasn't eating yesterday. We knew she didn't feel good. And then um, this morning, she didn't eat her food. So what I'm doing now is just taking her up to the vet and uh, dropping her off. And what they'll do is they'll watch her and they'll probably do blood work and hopefully give her that antibiotic that gets all the yucky stuff out of her stomach. If you're just watching this and you don't know, she's got a bad liver. So we have her on special food, dry and wet, and she's on medicine, a couple different medicines every day for her liver. And, um, oh gosh, you guys, it's the worst. She's shaking. <sighs> and they say when this, this stuff, I don't know, something builds up in her tummy because her liver isn't filtering everything out and it makes her feel nauseous. And that's why she won't eat. So taking her now and she is I think 11 years old which is not not you know old for a chihuahua but you know she's always had a bad liver so I think that kind of um, ages them so today we are going to just have a bad day a bad day vlog and I'll explain the rest to you after I take her I'm going to um, sign off so I can pay attention to driving here on the highway. I always love seeing the dogs at the gas station. It's always some dog in a car. Let me see if I can let you guys see. Him. Can you see him? <laughs> just a good old dog. Nothing fancy. Okay, I just dropped off Bridget and my nerves are shot. I really like it when John helps me with this, but he had to go to the doctor this morning. And I know she'll be okay, but it's just a reminder, you know, that one day She's not gonna be okay. And I know you guys don't see her a lot, like in my videos and stuff, but you know, she's part of our family. She sleeps with us every night. I mean, she's like a really big part of our lives. I mean, a lot revolves around Bridget. And, um, so it's going to be crazy, and there will not be another dog, for sure. So, okay, I'm full. I don't know about where you guys live, but here, Go Gas has the best gas. They have the um, ethanol-free, 93 octane, if you put super in your car. So whenever I'm up here this way, I stop here and get gas. And I am going to go get a big Diet Coke. And I just parked. I got my medium Diet Coke. Can you believe that's a medium? But I was going to go ahead and show you. I don't know if this is the best light, but I look terrible today. Because, I don't know if you can see how swollen my eyes are. I remember when I told you I tried some skincare that had made my eyes itch well I it was 
eye cream and a face cream and it's it's very expensive very nice products sent to me from a friend of a friend and they wanted me to try it out so I did and I don't know what's in it that I am reacting to it could just be retinol because ever since wonderful menopause my skin is sensitive to things that it hasn't been sensitive to ever before now I, know I can still use Rafisa but it seems like if something has retinol in it my skin really reacts to it so my eyes itch so bad you guys my eyes itch okay let me back up okay so I didn't use the eye cream anymore but I was thinking oh well the face stuff didn't bother me so I used the face serum, I put it all over, I put it all down my neck, all down here, and evidently some got on this earlobe. And yesterday, it itched all day long, so bad. And I did my video, and then I, by the time I edited it and everything, I only had like about 45 minutes before I went to my parents' house, and then it started itching like crazy. So I took a Benadryl, and this ear is just killing me. It, you can see how red it is. And as I got home, I washed my face and I, it just itched so bad. It itches all through here, all down my neck, even right there. I'm just having some kind of reaction. So I was hoping when I woke up this morning that it would be gone. But you can't really tell unless you're used to looking at me with no makeup. But it's the most swollen is like right in there. And right in there I put ice on it last night and that helped some but oh plus I have on right now I have on the Misha BB cream just because I wanted to put something on just one pump I just put it on basically for sunscreen that is the next thing that is gonna make this a not so good day but I'm not gonna let it get to me so I thought what we might do, since I don't want to put any makeup on, and since I'm already freaked out about Bridget, I have, I need to go through my makeup. And I've got one of my main drawers that I thought maybe we could go through, and I'm going to filter out. I'm going to be brutal, you guys. So there are going to be things that I do like that I'm going to get rid of, because I want to scale it down as we move, and then we move again. <laughs> I want to scale down to things that I just use all the time. Then there's going to be just lots of stuff in there that I give away. I'll either throw it away. Most of the time, the lip stuff I'll throw away or I'll just give to my mom. But most of the lip stuff will probably throw away. And then I'll um, either give to my cleaning girls that come on Tuesday or Brooke and her friends or some of it may be so old that I just throw it away. And then I give Morgan a lot of stuff and everybody. I give it to everybody. So I am going to go on home. You can see I'm itching. It really, like right here. Oh my God, I cannot even, if I really start itching, I can't stop. So I'm trying not to mess with it. And I'm hoping by tomorrow, I'm gonna take a shower tonight and I'm hoping by tomorrow it will be better. I put on I'm gonna sit in the sun. Just a little bit because that always makes me feel better. I even thought about going to the beach for a little while. So we'll see. Oh, a little butterfly. Oh, I just love it. I love the sun. I want to do a video soon on vitamin D. It's so important. And I think that the sun Nazis have messed it up for some people. So we'll talk about that another time. So I've still got my ferns. They got a little, we redid the porch and then we redid the, um, you know, the top of it before we sold it. And so everything got a little bit messed up. And then there's another fern, the hibiscus, they're trying to hang on. And then I always love those. It's a um, pinky dinky hydrangea and then here's a foxtail fern and then a canna lily and then these are what we planted this year and they have done so good um, it's a banana plants it's like a big one of the big darker ones 
And then that other little one, look at how good it's doing. I don't even know, I don't know what those little things are, some type of bloom. So those are doing good. And that's a camellia. So that blooms in the, in the winter. I'm gonna sit here. I recommend you do this if you're ever having a bad day. Sit in the sun. I don't know what it is about it. it just makes you feel better. Okay, guys. So this is the drawer that we are going to tackle today. And this is, so up here, let me tilt you back so you can see. So up here is my clear cube. And this is like my toothpaste drawer. And then I have this drawer. And I have this one that needs to be tackled. It's mostly lipstick and then that's mascara. And then I have this drawer that needs to be tackled. But I figure if we can get one done today, that will be amazing. And I'm actually excited because when you do this, you find stuff that you really love that you've just forgotten about. Now I have these sitting out on my counter because I use one of these every day. So I've had this sitting out. Okay, so let's, I'm out of boxes because trash day was just Friday and it's Monday. So I've got one box here. I've got one bag to separate these into. And then I guess, let me go get a trash bag too. I thought what I would do is fill this box here with things that maybe one of you might like. And like, a, there's a lot of stuff that I had, just haven't used very much. And then if somebody wants it, I might, you know, just do a giveaway with this video. Okay, here we go. Gucci bronzer, love it, love it. This one, remember when I got the two buxom bronzers? This is the one I like the most. This one is Backyard Bronze, definitely keeping it but I didn't care for rooftop tan. So this will be something I'll put in that box in case, and then one of you, if you want it. I understand if, you know, used makeup cooks you out, but I would never put anything in there that I've only used, you know, like maybe one or two times. And so down below, just put if you would like to have it. And then I'll just um, announce a winner for this on Friday too, with along with the other winner. Okay, this will never go anywhere. These you can't buy anymore, but they're the blushes. This is Exposed, probably one of my favorite blushes of all times, and it's very close to this. So if you want a dupe, this is it, but this has more pigment, but I like them both. Sometimes I use both of them. Okay, this is the kind of stuff that I love, but I will probably give away because I just don't use it. This, that color, that color, and that color. Oh my goodness, so pretty. But this is something that I can give to someone because it was limited edition, and I've got these colors in here, and I just would rather someone else enjoy it. Okay, this is my Anastasia Rosewood Bronzer. Obviously a good one, one that I love, so I'm gonna keep it. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45. This is a really soft powder, and if you're ever doing your makeup and you feel like it's too neutral, you need some warmth, this is a good powder to use for bronzer because it really adds some warmth and it also adds coverage on your cheeks. So I really like that. I don't use it all the time, but it's something I like to have. Okay, the Butter Bronzer, I love this. It is the Deep Bronzer, and I use this a lot. Okay, this is the, gosh, I need a, let me go get a towel to wipe things off. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow. So this is not something that I use a lot, but I do like it sometimes. It is just like their powder, but there's a little tiny bit of a shimmer in it. And sometimes I like to use this just as a highlight, as a you know, skin tone highlight. Okay, this is something I use every day under my eyes with the Colleen Rothschild sponge. That's why it's so dirty, because I use it every day. Matter of fact, I might mess myself up because that's how I usually tell that this is the translucent one is because it's the dirtiest one. But So I'll always have that. And then this is one of my latest loves. It's the Translucent Honey. 
And this is what I use. I either use this or translucent honey or my YSL all over glow. These two are the ones I set the rest of my face with. Hey. The Gen Nude Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. Fabulous, love it, but my favorite ever, ever, ever is this rose one. So I'm gonna give the neutral one away and keep the rose. This one, there's just something about that color right there. Boho is just a fabulous color. I just, this whole quad or palette is gorgeous. It's gorgeous for a neutral eye with just a little bit of shimmer. Love it, one of my favorites. Okay, this is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Foundation. This is in ivory beige. And then I should have another one. Somewhere. Here it is. Ah, this one is uh, Tawny, I believe. Yeah, Tawny. So this is the same concept where I like to mix a neutral and a warm eye. My first instinct is to give these away because I love the double wear so much, but I'm going to keep them in case when it gets cold, I find that I need the more moisturizing ones. The Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop, one of my all-time favorite palettes. Definitely keeping this. I mean, it's really, the fact that these are here means that they're kind of like go-tos, so I'm going to keep these downstairs. And I just ordered the entire the entire little um, collection of That's Taupe from ColourPop. So when that comes in, we'll give that a review. Okay, the NARS, what is this? Hot Fix Cheek Palette. Oh, that is a good palette. I do like it a lot, but I'm gonna put it in the giveaway so that maybe one of you could enjoy it even more. So I'll put that in the giveaway. Um, this is the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Antigua. I really do like this, but I don't use it that much. And I'm thinking my mom might like this. She likes a rosy pink blush. So I'm gonna give that to my mom. Let's see, what is this? Vanity Makeup. What the heck is this? Sculpt and Glow Palette, Medium Trio. You guys, I don't even know what that is. So I'm gonna, this is gonna just get thrown away because it's creamy and we don't wanna do anything crazy. This is the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation in Medium. I do like this. So I'm just gonna put this away in my foundation. Okay, the Lawless Beauty Bronzer was just okay, but nothing great. Um, I think I only used it like one or two times. So I'm gonna put that in this giveaway also okay this is the NARS packaging gets so dirty but this is the NARS Tahiti bronzer Laguna this is one I had to it's discontinued and I had to order it off of let's see eBay or somewhere but I'm gonna keep it just because it's gorgeous I love the little Ita brush it's good for travel and I just really really like it so I'm gonna keep this Okay, the NARS Laguna matte this is a nice one too. I'm gonna keep it. A really good bronzer, classic. This, my favorite highlight of all times, the Highlight 01. I mean, look at how much I've used of it, and I've definitely got a backup. This is the best highlight if your skin is not perfect, but you still want that highlighted look. This gives great cheekbones. I love it. Definitely my favorite highlight. This and I don't know if you can still get my other one. Where is it? This one. The Laura Geller. A definite, definite favorite. Those two are my all-time favorite highlights. This is one of my most used bronzers. It's the Hula. Just the best good bronzer. This goes in here. So I'm going to take this out and put it somewhere else. But that still is a good brush to do that contour. So definite one of my most used Let's see, this is a Bobbi Brown blush that I had forgotten about. I think it's Peony. Yes, a great bright pink blush. Let me grab this. This is the Beauty Light Wand High Blush in Peach Gasm. I'm going to put this in the giveaway 
I think I used it one time and it's just not a favorite. This is the Tarte Cream Bronzer. I love it, love it. Keep this, I might put this away though for the summer. This is a Laura Mercier Eye Basics in Buff. What's that doing down here? Okay, I must have thrown this in the wrong drawer. <laughs> okay. This is a pair of Faux Mink Wispies. This is a YSL blush. And see, this drawer is supposed to be like things I'm using, but it gets built up when I get new stuff. This is the Couture Blush. I believe this is the one that's called Nude Blouse, and I really like this a lot. It's actually one of my favorites. I hate that I don't use it more, so maybe I will now. Right along. Oh, one of my classic beige from Laura Mercier. Definite. I wish they still made this. I'm going to keep this because it's very valuable. That was just a powder. Another gorgeous bronzer is the Bronze Goddess. And this actually, I loved it because it has like the deeper and then the middle and then a highlight. It's not available anymore. I feel like it's too used to give to one of you guys, so I'll probably just give this to either my mom or the cleaning girls. This is a Tom Ford, if I th think I... Oh, it's Mink Mirage. Okay, oh my gosh. I was looking for this the other day and I picked up this and I didn't think this was in here, but that, woo, what a fabulous quad for the good, sexy, neutral eye. Just one of my all-time favorites. Um, this and Coco Mirage, but I don't know if Coco Mirage is still available. I think they might have switched it out with this one. This is wonderful. I mean, wonderful. This is a contour and highlight. It's not one of my favorite things. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it in the giveaway. Oh gosh, the doorbell's ringing. Hold on. Okay, I basically just wanted you to know he was somebody was here yeah, with me. I'm glad you called because I had no idea what that was. I know, it scared me. Okay, yeah. bye. Bye bye. Okay, you guys, we have an, a termite inspector here that I did not know was coming, so he might come in here, but we're going to carry on. Okay, a puff, Laura Mercier puff. I've got several of these. I'm just not a puff person. Um, these. Oh my gosh, this is good. You need to come oh, back here. Area? Yeah, we are. We're staying just a couple miles up the road. Right. It's a booming market. Yeah, it is a booming really market. Is. We sold within a week. Within a week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe it. You need to see in here? Still keep everybody good. I just think too, people got to notify because some of these areas you just don't go walking on people's property. <laughs> no. Like I had one out in Viewville last Monday. There was like six cars. Nobody's answering. And I had no notes that the lockbox was on the back door. Oh. Well, then we get called and I'm like, look, especially out here in the country, I want you to start walking on people's properties. They have dogs that roam. Yeah. They yeah. have yeah. rifles. Yeah. Oh, you guys. This day. This day. Okay. I bought this Dior highlight palette. I don't like it as much as the other one that I have. Let's see. I love this. And I love the one that came out with this. That has the pink in it. So I'm going to put this one in the giveaway box. I think all this is stuff that I really, really use a lot. So there's nothing really giveaway up there. Okay. This is a Tom Ford Ultra Shine Lip Gloss in Naked. So I'm gonna try this now that I'm doing the lighter colors and make sure it hadn't gone bad and see if I like it before I, nope, smells good, before I get rid of that. I'm so sad that Nude Vanille is gone. Okay, this is a Classic Beige Mineral Powder. Let me get another towel. Put mine in the washing machine out of habit. Got hairspray or powder or something on it, but that is a classic beige. They don't sell that anymore. 
Okay, random puffs. I'm gonna throw these away. Um, this is that Clinique bronzer. It's really pretty. It's not my favorite, so I'm gonna put it like to give to Brooke or something in this bag. This is a Givenchy. Oh, that's that bronzer. Okay, I was wondering where this was. This is another one that gives a lot of warmth. It's the 04. Yeah, I like this one. This is the one that Camila Coelho. Oh, okay, this is really good too. These little Super Stay lip liners are really good, but I'm gonna put it in the thing for Brooke and her friends just because I'm trying to be brutal. Okay, a Dior blush hologram. See, this is something I should be using. It is gorgeous. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. Great topper. This is an old Dior brush that came in an old powder I got off of eBay. Tammy had it and she used it for contour, so I ordered them just to have the brushes. But isn't that, I love it. I just feel like it's so classic, so I'll keep this forever. This, another fabulous bronzer. It was a limited edition from the Olympics, I believe. It's the bronze color game. Gorgeous. This is a blush that Tammy gave me because she had two of them. It's from Sisley and it's beautiful. And I just saw it on the Nordstrom website. It is gorgeous. And then this is from Lila B. And I think I remember Palette Perfection Eye Quad. What is this? I know it slides. It is heavy as a rock. Does it slide? Here it goes. <gasps> I forgot about this. That is so pretty. I love how they put a brown with the purples. Okay, see that's something I need to use. A fabulous classic, classic blush from Bobbi Brown. Everyone would love this. It's called Slopes. The first time I ever got this was in a palette, a limited edition palette, and then they made it permanent. It is a beautiful, it's perfect for the 70s or 90s supermodel look too because when they used to use blush for contour, that is a perfect one. And they still sell it. This is Laura Mercier Strawberry. I like it, but I'm gonna put it in your giveaway box. A Fenty Cream Blush in Bikini Martini. Not so impressed. I'm gonna put it in the thing for Brooke. Um, Instant Glow from Rodial Primer and Warm Flawless Glow. I'm gonna put this in that bag for Brooke and her friends. Oh, this is a good one. This is a great cream bronzer. If you're kind of scared to do that, this is a good way to try it. It's the Hula Quick Contour Stick. I definitely like this. This, wow, I forgot about this. This is the Makeup Forever um, S118. It's the one that Scott Barnes used when he did Tati and the JLo. And it is a beautiful, beautiful color for sculpting, like underneath the jawbone. I used this in my JLo video. I will link that down below. But and this is the brush that goes with this bronzer. Getting somewhere. And then I'll take this out, wash everything, and try to keep it clean. This is, I think Tati told us about this. It's a puff. It's kind of like her little puff thing and I ordered it, I'm gonna keep it. This is a little tray of lip products. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is Beauty Boss from Stila Casual Friday. Pretty, but I'm gonna put it in the thing for Brooke. This is a Dior Addict in Nude Chill. Okay, so I'll keep that and try it. Oh gosh, here's the termite man again. Hold on. We passed the termite inspection. He said if he had a crawl space, he would want it to be like ours because we have our houses built up real high and you can walk under our house. Okay, this is Smash Up Liquid Matte from Estee Lauder. Um, I'll probably put it in here for Brooke. Oh goodness gracious, you guys. Um, swag, probably, I don't know what it's, Fair Minerals. I'm gonna put it there for Brooke. 
what is this dior gamer oh my gosh you guys this is such a good color it's crazy but in the prettiest way white gray hair like platinum hair and it looked so good on her and i've always loved it i didn't know where it was but that is a really cool color oh this was the fenty gloss balm i actually like these uh fussy okay i'm gonna keep that okay this is nude matte no hot nude from lancome huh Wow, you guys. Look how pretty that is. Let me do a better one. That is beautiful. See, this is what happens. I forget about my good stuff. Okay, this is a YSL. What is this? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to keep that too. Okay, what is this from Lancome? Um, Sulamint. Sulamit Sheer. Hmm. I mean, that's pretty, but I'm going to give this to my mom. Fig. Oh my goodness, you guys. Such a good one. I fell in love with this lip liner, and it's the kind that you can refill when I fell in love with Rose Amethyst. A really good lip liner for pinks. Okay, what is this? This is the Ultra Appeal Rouge Dior. It looks like a red color and i'm gonna put it in the giveaway i'll bet you i never wore it or i might have swatched it one time no what okay it's just in the red because it's ultra appeal okay it's not red it's that color okay i'm gonna give it see if my mom wants it i hate to give you guys lip products unless i have really not ever but one maybe one time use it i wonder where all my tom fords are they're probably okay this is guilty pleasure this is a really cool color but let me see hey it doesn't smell it does not smell like it's gone bad look at that you guys Ooh, i'm gonna have fun so make sure you tune in tomorrow one to find out how bridget's doing bless her little heart and to see what makeup i wear i love that Okay, what is this? You guys won't believe it. You won't believe it. Oh my gosh, it's nude vanilla. I never thought I would have kept this. Oh my gosh, I think it's a new one. And I don't think it's bad. Oh my gosh, okay. I promise to all of you that miss it, I will find us another one. Look at that. Oh. I can't believe it. Tammy and I were just talking about this yesterday on the phone. Okay, I will find us a dupe. This, I'm gonna put this up here. This is a matte, luminous matte lip color. A lot of this is when I, when Brooke worked at Ulta, I would go in there a lot and they have Chanel and I would get a lot of the stuff that the girl that worked there liked and then I would just forget about it. Oh my gosh, look, it's a peachy color. It's kind of bright. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put this in the giveaway box. And if you're too cooked out to use it, just don't. But I'm gonna put it in there because I don't remember ever wearing that. Hey, okay, the Lancome. This looks good. Oh, I love it. Beautiful little light pinky color. Oh yeah, remember this? This is such a good one. Okay, I'm not going to throw this away until I see if you can still get it. Maybelline Baby Lips, but it's in that color that I love so much. It smells good, too. It's actually called Toasted Taupe. A MAC lipstick. Shrimp Ton. Such a good one. Oh, my gosh. Such a good one. This is so good for right now in the fall and winter. I'm sure it's named after Jean Shrimpton. It's like a 60s color. A YSL number nine. I don't know which one this is, but I bet it's good. Yes. Love it. This is number 70. This is a Rouge Pure Couture. Another pretty pink. Just a good one. The last 
one is Bear Instinct Envy from Estee Lauder. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, it has never been used. So what I'm gonna do, I just threw the box away. I'm going to put it in the giveaway because even if it's fabulous, I would rather you have it. There we go. So we did the whole thing. I'm going to end this video here and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.